Welcome back to an episode of quests, 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 and even more quests. And this time we are going to do a, the Contending Tides. It is a Depoga Gorge mission. Actually, it's the Mountainous Summons. That's uh, the one it's called. It's also in the Depoga Gorge thingy, whatever. So let's go there. All the way over here, next to Dr. Livingstone. <laughs> it might be that you have to fight in the arena of the Helicals, eh? Either this, or it's somewhat related to clearing all three of those cams again. And they kind of made it a recurring challenge also, who knows. Interesting that there are three cranes. Or maybe there are storks. Is it cranes or storks? So, no, we don't want to cook. Dr. Limbs. Ah, we meet again, traveler. Hmm. Uh, you seem to be in pretty high spirit, Dr. Limbs. Did something good happen? Hmm. It's something that might seem troublesome, but is in fact pretty interesting. I'm sure that it would interest an adventure as wise, strong, and disposed to action as you are. Well, uh, what's the. Can't tell to lend you my. Okay. Uh, what's the matter then? Hmm. Do you remember the Meaty Tribes Arena? Lately, it seems like some sort of no holds barred fighting tournament is being held around there. As I've mentioned before, I still have further research that I intend to conduct in this area. But the whole gorge is all a bustle these days due to this tournament, which has a disrupted my progress. Still, the idea of a no holds barred tournament is a rather intriguing one, don't you think? Ah, uh, intriguing. Mm. I'm sure that the desire to be the strongest in Tevat has crossed everyone's mind at some point, right? It seems silly girls are no exception. The Porga Gorge is sacred to the Hilly Girls, and strong fighters are gathering from every corner of the continent to this place. Now, I wouldn't claim to be that strong. What I'm trying to say is, you once conquered the Meaty Tribes Arena, why don't you give the tournament a will? The sooner you win that tournament, the sooner I can get back to work. It's a win-win-win situation. I'll do my best to support you for my part at Astra Abyssal Square. Alright, uh, let's look at the challenge. Whoa, there are multiple difficulties on this as well. Unlocks after 6 hours, uh -huh, don't sweat it. Oh, so this the Art of the Cannonball, Bell of the Epoch. What on earth is all of this? Okay. So, welcome to easy mode. Mm -hmm. <laughs> easy mode has normal, hard, and extreme difficulty. Uh -huh. uh, bollocks. Uh, click outside the game. So, let's go to the challenge. It's over here. Nice. Hey, turn it level up material. That's and you can teleport there. Oh, that is so convenient. Ah, uh, I get it. So much. Let's just hope that this is a permanent edition. That would be sweet. So, oh, I like this menu. Like the uh, the 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 um, the coloring is quite interesting because it's not a red. It's more like an orange. I have, I think I have never seen this kind of orange in this game before. I don't know. Seems new. All right. Um. Yeah, how am I gonna choose the difficulty? Okay, there's the normal one, of course, uh, is the one for the Primal Gem so that everyone can get it. Uh, yeah, time limits. Uh, the statues of your teammates, tough enemies, all manner of challenges and gold. Such things aren't good for your health, you know? Uh, while fighting within aura, your character's attack is greatly increased. Additionally, when uh, characters with full stamina hit opponents while standing within an aura, they will unleash intense shockwaves. Okay. Ah, so this is uh, the other stuff. The pro the thing is, you can't even click on it. It just has, yeah, it's not available yet. I know it's not available. I still want to look at it. Um, I mean, the whole thing can be grayed out, or the button might not be available there. But okay, stage details. There will be an aura within the. There we go. This is the actual important bit. Like there is flavor description, like this one, and then there is number description like this one uh, there will be an aura within the area characters within the aura will obtain the following effects bam attack is increased and when attacks hit opponents a shock wave will be released with your if your stamina is above 50 percent dealing aoe damage yeah shock wave of this kind can one only occur once every three seconds okay 
Okay, so uh, get full stamina, stand inside the uh, the AOE, the area, and yeah, you're basically getting, hmm, uh, what if I just go for the extreme mode, defeat 15, 20, no character deaths required, whoa, no character deaths during the challenge, uh, no more than two character deaths, one, defeat four blazing axe medicals. Let's just go for extreme mode and see if I can finish all of those immediately. That would be sweet. The problem is luring the enemies in. Mm. Okay, so what you have to do is, uh, I would say, like I have my own aura, you know, like a, the albedo aura. Ooh, what, what was that? I had kind of like a uh, zap strike towards the enemies, that was weird. That felt me. Okay, uh, let's get this one. If you get hit once, you get hit twice, and the fourth time, and so on and so forth until everybody's dead. It's really nice that you have an aura in this thingy, but the enemies are just so far apart. Hmm. Yeah, now we are... Okay. Let's try this. 100% more. 4,000. Yep, that's definitely good. Nice, 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 nice. I think I'm dealing like almost double the damage here. Mm. Let's get the decoys out for this one. Oh, come on. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I have to defeat the Blazing X Metacles. This is how you... Okay, okay, now I get it. Um, so you have to just defeat so and so many enemies, it doesn't matter which ones, as long as you defeat them somehow. Come on. Come on. Oh, just get over here already, Jesus. There we go. Okay, it's really annoying uh, to lure them into the area of effect. Um, but I have to do this, otherwise I uh, will not be able to make this. There we go. Okay, so the key point to note here is like, uh, like you think that the 20 enemies are the ones on the field, right? Uh, and they respawn and respawn and uh, respawn until all 20 are defeated. Um, but this uh, did not really happen. And why did I... Okay, so if you go for the extreme difficulty one, uh, then you get the normal and hard difficulty as well. So there's no need to start with the normal one. <laughs> Just go all in. It's pretty easy. Anyway, uh, what I wanted to say um, about the... And also, why did I get out of the menu there without clicking anything? That's not cool. I don't like that stuff. Um, there should always be a click option for that. Because one never knows... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I could have been on the toilet there for a moment. Anyway. What was it I wanted to say? Um, yeah. The 20 enemies. Uh, they keep on respawning. Uh, like the normal uh, helicals. They keep on respawning all the time. So there's no uh, no end to them. So uh, the only thing that you need to do is defeat the ones in the circle. In the center. Uh, because that's just much easier to do. Uh, and then if the large mythical, the ones with the axes, uh, keep on spawning, then you have to defeat them as well. The problem is, um, all around you, there were some archers. And every time you try to go out of the arena and fight the archers, you are out of this, uh, this buff field in the center. So that's not good. And the archers keep on respawning anyway. So your best bet 
is to lure every enemy, the melee ones, into the center field and defeat them in here. And just ignore the archers altogether. That might be your best bet. Uh, so you can do this fairly quickly with the bonus damage. Uh, yeah. Whoa, they kept just... That was weird. Okay, that is weird. What on earth? That's so weird. Why are those items all of a sudden disappearing if I stand on this? Maybe it has something to do with performance. Maybe in order to make this work, uh, uh, they just sa uh, thought to themselves, okay, like everyone is supposed to have a good time in this uh, arena here. So even if your system might not be as powerful or if you're playing on the phone, any kind of phone, um, well, not every phone is able to play Genshin Impact, but still, uh, most phones should. So they uh, got rid of uh, like unnecessary flavor objects, like those chests and this. Because like th this definitely does not seem, like look at this. Boxes just disappearing like that? Nah. This must be some kind of performance thing they did. Very interesting. Very interesting. So, let's see. Do we have any other thing to do? Actually, not so much, isn't it? Huh. That is quite weird. Quite weird. I was actually hoping to do a bit more here. Okay, uh, maybe I can do the Spiral Abyss also, but the thing is the spiral I kind of wanted to do the Spiral Abyss at the end. Uh, at the end of all of the missions, but for now, uh, it might be a good choice here. Like, let's go for arenas and uh, abysses and everything. Let's see, yeah, what do we have? Characters possess an attack increase wind ward aura that can increase their attack by a maximum of 60% for every opponent who steps within the aura. Uh, the aura's effect is decreased by 25%. When four or more opponents are within the aura, this effect will not provide an attack increase. That is a stupid aura. Uh, they should just cons reconsider this thing because you want to fight more enemies all the time, right? Like, you want to hit multiple enemies with one swing of your weapon to be more efficient. So why is it that you want to fight one at a time in the... Like, nah. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. That is just absolutely horrendous. So, let's see. Um, This is not a... Wow. Uh, so little charges. Okay, increases swirl damage uh, by 300% and it's AoE by 100 Animal damage dealt by all party members is increased by 75%. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely that the... Uh, hmm. Uh, that you need to have a mix uh, of high-level characters in order for this to really work. Uh, where's number four? There we go. Ah, oh, bollocks! Ah, uh, Bennett is on place two now. No! <sighs> ah, I have to redo this. Character elemental mastery. Nope. Um, it's greater than 50% defense is increased. Defeating an opponent gives 50% chance to end current what? Uh, elemental skill cooldown can only occur once every 200 seconds. I don't care about the elemental skill cooldown, uh, but having high defense is pretty cool. Uh, effect of this chamber. This Okay, let's go for floor. Always go for the floor. Damn it. Ah, uh, my muscle memory is now so, so, so screwed. Ah, uh, no, I like, I, I thought this uh, AOE thing was like on the field and you have to uh, lure the enemies in. But you can actually just go from one enemy to the next. That's pretty sweet. Okay. I dig it. And also the enemies seem to... Ah, uh, the enemies. Your own characters seem to be healed up fairly well. It's neat. 
Nah, I'm not dishing out that much damage. How many more? Was it within 60 seconds? Yes! There we go, let's continue. Oh, I really have to switch that. Like, come on. Why must it be then selecting them from left to right is the wrong order? Current buff. Ah, that's nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Uh, characters damage within 80 seconds of sprint. Uh, plus 20%. Can occur only once every 15 seconds. Hmm. Character damage within... Uh, Okay, so that means you have a downtime of this uh, effect that's 7 seconds. Character normal in charge attacks plus 20%. Yes. Bam. And bam. It's kind of weird just uh Powering through them like that. Get the wrong one. Oh, that was it? The one before was so much. Okay. So much more. So, it was so much more enemies. That's weird. So weird. Okay. Let's do this again. Uh, continue challenge. You have an ongoing challenge at floor 3, Chamberlain. If you choose continue, your challenge will continue from the last save progress. If you choose abandon challenge, your current challenge will end and the result will be saved. Uh, let's continue. Uh, that was weird. Like, why is it possible to leave? Uh, and that's just strange. But it's nice that you can actually wait in between so you're not forced to go to the end that's neat um the everlasting whisper of the spiral abyss encourages you to go deeper and so on and so forth mm, and character hp is greater and da 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 hmm nah we don't need this let's just do extremely high amounts of damage oh okay may you cancel <laughs> it's almost cheat. Oh, nice. We got a pole arm. Uh, yeah, let's leave for now. Because the next one is floor number four. And with floor number four, we can actually select another team. And I really need to change the, uh, the, the, the squad loader for this. Not... Uh, no, wait a minute. I need... Yeah, one, two, no, two, three, four. Seven. Uh, could I? Nah, I can't select a pre-made group, can I? Doesn't really work like that. And I didn't even look at the description. Ah, oh, I'm so, so, so good. All right, mm, let's go for element. Oh, movement speed, but only this chamber. I just like having a buff that's uh, permanently usable and not just in one chamber. So you get like it's really powerful. Ah, you gotta be kidding me. We'll just have a problem in uh, the Spiral Abyss once they start introducing uh, the mages with fire shields. Because then I'm just. Uh, Hacking onto them and nothing happens. Come on. There we go. Ah, of course, there's another battle mage. Interesting. So, floor one seems to be always um, 23 enemies. Then the next one is less, and then it goes on and on and on and on and on. 
Let's see how many we have to fight this time. Um, character elemental skill or elemental mastery. I would just go for elemental skill. Why not? Target defense uh, progress greater than... Oh, okay. So the idea is to not make this thing go boom. No, 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 no. Oh, come on! Uh, I need the arches. This bubble mage does not give a shit at all. Okay. Now, of course, there's another bubble mage. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, that one is done. Yeah. I have to say, this aura bonus effect that you have is really useful. So, so, so useful. All right, then the last one. Uh, character defense minus 15% attack plus 40. Okay. Um, character damage goes up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go for character damage goes up if you sprint. I don't know if the... I cannot switch characters right now. Why not? Why can't I switch characters right now? That's weird. Now I can switch characters. Hmm. Interesting. I think the idea of the stages is that the first stage is, well, difficult. The second stage is intermediate. Uh, and then the last stage is actually easy, so that it gets, yeah, progressively uh, simpler to do all of that. Oh, you know to be kidding me. Okay, now we actually come to the point where you ha need to have uh, multiple characters maxed out in order to progress here. I mean, I can't... Okay, it's not possible for me to select another squad. I mean... Cannot eat, survive, and so on and so forth. I know. I don't have the other characters available. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. One, two, three. Ah, uh, okay. So the floor just gets impossible for me, let's say. Yeah. Because I don't care about the other characters. I want to play with those. Don't give a shit. Okay. Uh, the other squad, let's say, um, that I would introduce um, would be Lisa, Sucrose, and who else? Yeah, wait a minute. Uh, I could go with the... Um, uh, with Fischl uh, as an archer. And I could also introduce the Traveler uh as another animal character in there so i have the electro uh resonance and i also have the animal resonance yeah, that could work quite well uh what is both of this both of this is speed related in a way so the wind uh decreases stamina consumption nice but we don't really care about that sadly mm, increases movement speed by 10 percent and shortened skill cooldown by five okay that's decent and the electricity thing gives you additional particles, wasn't it? Uh, affected by... No. Yeah, hydro for 20 minutes. Superconduct overloaded and electrocharged. Basically means all of those effects don't work. Okay. So if you want to utilize the high voltage thingy, um, then you need either ice, two ice characters, or one ice character, um, or a fire character, or... Uh, a water character in order to trigger this bonus effect this um hmm 
have a 100% chance to generate an electro elemental particle. Uh, high voltage would be such a nice bonus if it would be useful uh, or usable with animal characters, but it is not. Okay, so your best selection for this would be either fire or ice or water. But okay, let's forget about the double water because that might not be that useful. Um, so if double ice might be the best one for this. Um, or maybe double... F yeah, double fire improves your attack. That's good. Uh, but double ice also increases your crit by 15%. That's pretty decent. Mm. Both of it does work pretty well. Thing is, in order to make uh, the same bonus damage with crit, I believe, you have to have at least 200% crit damage. Uh, to make the 15% from down here. Oh no, actually the attack goes up by 25%. That's an awful lot. High voltage. Ah, making the high voltage work is really, really difficult. Okay, so I can't continue with the abyss for now. For now. But, what do we have here? Don't we go? Yeah. Ah, why must it be that the abyss ah, forces me to level up characters again? Anyway, I did get my 12 stars. That's perfect. Hmm, how often can I do this, by the way? Only once, like, ever? I think so. Hmm, what else do I have? I have this one, yes. And hmm, okay, I could try to forge at least one four star item in here just to get to the next chapter, because I'm kind of uh, interested in what this is. Wait a minute. There's something new in the backpack. I just ah, some treasure stuff. So domain will increase. Yeah, one artifact in each box. What's with this one? Ah, uh, feather. Nice. So, you do get decent artifacts in here. Uh, it's just that you only get points. <laughs> uh, that's just great. Oh, wait. I could also do uh, this one here. The Parametric Transformer. Mm. Let's see. Add items of quality 150 or and above to initiate transportation. Hmm... Uh, this is quality one, okay. This is quality two. Uh, quality one, two, four. Okay, so it goes up more and more and more. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Ah, oh, what kind of items would I want to put in there? I would say that I could just throw in items that I don't care that much about. Let's just. Maximize that. Hold down the button uh, until I'm at 150. Or you just click on max. Why not? And now I can initiate a transmutation. Let's see what happens. Mm. Once added, the items cannot be retrieved. Well, yeah, it's slimes. So, 5%. Uh, okay, 6%. Uh, 4%. No, that's definitely not it. Okay, hitting it doesn't really work. Five percent for an ultimate. Perfect. It's better to just shoot at it with amber. You do get a decent uh, five to seven percent all the time. I think the increase is somewhat random between 5 and 1. Not. Okay. Uh, transmutation, uh, you get some mora out of it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Hmm. There might be some kind of hidden mechanism for this. How to uh, utilize it hmm. for greater gains and so on and so forth. But uh, for now, I have absolutely no clue how this works. <laughs> ah, great. Okay, 
Let's go back to Mondstadt because there are two more quests to do. In this case, uh, they're not the uh, story quests here. They are the hangouts. And in this case, we have to continue with the Chongyun. <laughs> but we're not continuing now. Uh, we're going to continue this in the next episode. So then, like and subscribe, of course. Ta-ta!